I would have known what was going to happen when we planned the band. If we had even an inkling of what was going to happen, we would have been thrilled beyond our wildest dreams. thing with Mission Mountain began, I was sitting on the south side of Missoula on the front porch playing my guitar and Steve just happened to be driving by in his Triumph. He had a, a stocking cap on and his hair was blowing way out behind him and I yelled, Riddle! For some reason we decided to take a, a trip across Montana. We got in his van and drove east for a while and then we drove north for a while and then we drove west for a while and wound up in Glacier Park uh, which was uh, very spiritual and we uh, spoke about our dreams and what we thought we should do. And of course we were, what, 19 years old. Robbie had a group called Devlin McDonald and I, and I was in a, a rock and roll group called Silver Cloud, and we uh, both were doing quite well in our groups, but um, we wanted more. When we decided to put the band together, you know, Terry was the natural choice. You know, a great big good looking guy, very well spoken. And we talked to him about, you know, becoming a member of the band. We were talking about the things that we could do, you know, and he was talking about how much he loved his life on the railroad. He was the guy who drives the spikes, you know, he was really good at it. He just loved getting up in the morning and getting on that bus, going out with his buddies and driving railroad spikes. Steve and I looked at each other and we thought, he's not going to go for this. And we couldn't believe that somebody wouldn't want to play music and be in a band. Then I kind of had a thought and I turned back and I said, well, Terry, there's one thing I should tell you about being a musician. You meet an awful lot of really beautiful women. And all of a sudden I saw a little gleam in the corner of Terry's eye. <laughs> and I thought, I got him. <laughs> Terry had some kind of a charisma that was pleasing to the ladies very pleasing to the ladies. Terry also had a way about himself that all the guys liked him. They weren't uh, angry at him for being so pleasing to the ladies. Robbie and I were in charge of putting the music out there and Terry was in charge of charming everybody into loving it. I had never heard Terry and Rob and Steve sing or play a lick when I joined the band. But they were very convincing. Uh, I, I remember a trip in a van, and I think they got me pretty looped. Christian Johnson at that time was this incredible rock and roll guitar player. He was uh, probably the closest thing to a rock star that we had seen around Missoula.